And believe it or not, though, there are actually some medical conditions where you should avoid certain ab exercises. And could this be the case for our next guest? Right after my third child was born, I started noticing that I had a bulge in my belly button that was pretty painful. I decided to go to the doctor and he said that it was umbilical hernia. I know I need surgery to correct this, but here's the thing. I really want to have a tummy tuck as soon as I lose just a little bit more of my baby weight. My doctor said people live their whole life without getting these fixed. Is it okay to wait until I get the tummy tuck to get the hernia fixed, or should I get the hernia fixed now? And since it hurts during and after exercise, are there any exercises that I should avoid? And we're in our exam room with Ashley, who's been diagnosed officially with an umbilical hernia. Hi, Ashley. Hi. Hi and Ashley. I, I'm glad you brought up hernias because hernias are something you need to be aware of. I think we've been talking about ab exercises, but everyone wants to know what in the world is a hernia. Well, when you have a weakness in your abdominal wall, what can happen is the contents of your abdomen, namely your intestines, can actually poke out. In Ashley's case, it's around her umbilicus, but it can really happen anywhere where you have a weakness in your abdominal wall. And so those intestines stick out, which usually is not a huge deal as long as you can actually gently push it back in. And it should go back in because if it doesn't go back in, it's something that's called strangulated. Over time, if you can't push that hernia back in, it becomes an acute medical emergency because it can block off blood flow, become what we call incarcerated. This tissue can die, you can become septic, it can be really bad. But as long, Ashley, as you're right now, you can push it back in no problem, right? Yeah, and a lot yeah. of times we call that reducibility. And that's something I will look at because a lot of times my pregnant patients will get this because the other things that, that can contribute to umbilical hernias are multiple pregnancies and um, gaining weight very quick, quickly, which can actually happen during pregnancy. So I will see these and a lot of times we'll debate whether we need to do something right then or if we need to do something at the time of a C-section. Because we can do these surgeries in tandem with a C-section because we're right there. A true umbilical hernia, you wouldn't need a tummy tuck to fix that. Normally that's an incision right at the belly button, but if you're having a tummy tuck, you would make that incision while you're there you would fix it at the same time. Okay. But the one thing, if you're suffering with a hernia, and this goes for anyone at home who may have a hernia, you know, these exercises, these ab exercises we've been displaying, what does that do? That increases intra-abdominal pressure. Mm -hmm. So that's gonna push those contents of your abdomen out that weakness in your abdominal wall and can certainly exacerbate a hernia. And so things like yoga are great, but doing a lot of those hardcore ab exercises mm -hmm probably not ideal, right, until... Uh, exactly, and I mean, repair. I think that's, this is what you have, you have to ask yourself. I mean, if you are having regular pain, that may be an indication right there in itself to fix that.